Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back. It's Travis here with JT Wealth. In today's video, we're going to talk about three companies that Warren Buffett said are probably the top three companies you could own right now. And yes, it is based on his specific style of trading, but I think you're going to like this, guys. Let's get into it. All right, like I said, everybody, welcome back. Thanks so much for joining us. If you're new to the channel, just so you know, I cover videos on financial news, anything that could be going on in the market today. I also touch on FIRE or the Financial Independence Retire Early community. And on occasion, I do touch on motivational topics for entrepreneurs. So if you're interested in those type of topics, definitely like and subscribe to the video to keep up to date on all the content that I put out. And before we get into Mr. Buffett's top three stocks today, if you are a new investor and are looking for a new portfolio or a new app to invest your money in, check out some of the links in the description section down below. I'll let you pick whichever one works best for you, but just know that when you do that, it does help out the channel and we really appreciate it. All right, so today's news article comes from MoneyWise and it did pull directly from Yahoo Finance. And it says, Warren Buffett says these are the top companies to own and you can buy them now. Now, Warren Buffett isn't a super fancy investor. As a matter of fact, if you look at all of his holdings, it would be stocks you might not consider holding yourself. But he is very in tune with what he calls the basics. And you should never forget the basics when you're investing in any company. The big, purp the big purpose of a company is to take capital from investors and create return on it, right? So there's an actual metric that is the return on capital for specific stocks. And focusing on companies who consistently deliver a high return on that capital is a basic principle of Warren Buffett's investing strategy. So now let's take a look at those three companies, all of which have returns on invested capital above the 20% mark. And first one up is Nike. Kicking things off, we have consistently generated returns on invested capital in the range of 25 to 30%. And as the world's largest athletic footwear company, they have unmatched brand power in economies of scale and a constant innovation that allows the company to maintain premium pricing on its products. In the most recent quarter, for example, Nike's gross margin increased 850 base points to 45.8% thanks to higher volumes in wholesale shipments and strong pricing in its direct consumer segment. And always trying to pull from a couple different sources to determine whether or not anything is a good investment. I pulled these from tip ranks and this is Nike stock uh, kind of just performance anticipation from all the people who are currently rating the stock. And it does have 25 professional analysts rating Nike a strong buy with almost a 20% upside in the next 12 months from $155 today to possibly $186 in the next 12 months. And currently Nike sports a forward PE of 37, which is lower than that of their competitors Under Armour, which has a PE score of 65, and Lululemon, which has a PE score of 59. They are, however, higher than their main rival Adidas, which has a PE score of 28. And obviously the higher the PE score, the more you're paying for that stock. Now I will take a moment to caveat that and say PE scores by themselves are useless. But if you're looking at the PE score in relation to the other stocks in the direct competitor network, it can be very useful in determining which company is giving you the best buy at any given moment. Okay, our number two stock on the list today is Starbucks and they are boasting a five year return on invested capital of 31%, trouncing other major fast food chains like McDonald's, which only has 20% and Chipotle, which only has 8%. And even in this incredibly intense quick service restaurant space, the specialty coffee chain's premium quality positioning and market share dominance allow it to charge significantly higher prices than other chains, leading to consistently above average returns for its shareholders. Again, looking at the tip rank score, we're looking at about $112 for Starbucks today with 17 analyst ratings giving it a moderate buy and a potential 17.34% upside in the next 12 months to a average price target of 132.14 and the high price target is $145 in that same time frame. 
Starbucks is also continuing to grow in places like China and Japan, and they should have no shortage of areas to reinvest its capital for the long term. Now, in the most recent quarter, the global same-store sales increased 73%, and their ability to move with speed and agility and to be out in front of shifting customer behaviors has helped to further differentiate Starbucks, positioning them well for the moment. And with a PE of 30, and a price currently 12% below their 52 week high, you are looking at Starbucks stock at a little bit of a discount. So it could be a good time to invest in Starbucks if you believe in the company for the long term. Last on the list today is Alphabet, ticker G-O-O-G, and with a solid trailing 12-month return on invested capital of averaging at 25%, the tech gorilla and Google search provider Alphabet rounds out the list. Now, they have absolute dominance in the online search space, and they have global market shares above 80%. Their diversified portfolio of offerings, including Maps, Google Play, YouTube, and Gmail, plus consistent technological innovation, will continue to support strong returns and massive cash flow generation for years. I also want to mention, if you go and look for Google stock, you're going to notice there are two different Google stocks out there, Class A and Class C, G-O-O-G and G-O-O-G-L. And we're going to talk about the differences in both, but the article does reference the Class A G-O-O-G stock, so that's the one we're going to look at first. So here's your tip ranks for GOOG, the Alphabet Class C stock, and they're trading at $2,795 right now. But guys, with fractional shares, please do not let that number scare you away from investing in such a strong company. You could still buy $10 worth of Google if you wanted to. There's nothing saying you have to buy a full share. All right, we've got 10 analysts rating. It is a 100% universal strong buy. And you're looking at just under a 10% potential upside in the next 12 months to a price target of $3,067.90. Now, when we look at the Class A option, you are gonna notice almost a double upside potential in the next 12 months. And I wanna point out a possible reason for that. The Class C stock as it stands does not give you voting rights in Alphabet. However, the Class A shares do give you those voting rights, which could potentially create that increased price target in the next 12 months. And like I said, here is the Class A voting rights allowed options for Google. This has 29 ratings and, and still a strong buy, obviously showing 2782 on the day, but with a almost 15% potential upside going up to just shy of $3,200 in the next 12 months, again, possibly because of those voting rights associated with the Class A stock. Now, revenue for the company jumped 62% year over year to $62 billion on a huge increase of online activity and broad-based advertiser spending. Also, Alphabet shares have nearly doubled in the last 12 months and still trade at an amazing forward PE of only 26. Now, you might not agree with those three stock picks, but if you think about why Mr. Buffett would choose them, they are stable, long-term, productive companies that have an amazing track record. So if you're looking for your own stocks, but maybe not these three, consider utilizing that really traditional mindset when determining which stocks you want to invest your money in. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Those are the three stocks Mr. Buffett seems to think have a lot of potential going forward. And every other analyst that is rating them tends to agree with him. As always, thanks so much for checking out today's video. If you found something of value here, don't forget, give me a big thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel as well and leave me a comment in the comment section and let me know what you think about these three companies. Until next time, guys, bottoms up.